a little bit, but probably I've become more and more aware of it um, in recent years, both from sort of working around people who know about these issues and also, um, you know, when you buy a house, you start thinking more about the products that you're bringing into the house or the products that you're using um, to do repairs on the house or materials in the house. Um, you know, when we bought the house, we found in the inspection that there was some asbestos tape in the basement, so then we dealt with getting that abated, so that's kind of one of the toxic things we've known about for a long time, but that's when you start to start, sort of think about how to be aware of and in control of everything else that's in your life too. The most recent thing that I was um, disappointed to learn about was um, in the coffee makers that some of the tubing can have um, dangerous chemicals in it that the water goes through as it's brewing your coffee. And so, you know, um, we have stopped using a lot of plastics, you know, we don't microwave plastic, um, we try to use a lot of glass storage containers, and then I'm thinking, well, how could we avoid using cans that have BPA in them? Okay, we, we don't use that much canned food, maybe we could just cut out the tomatoes and tuna fish that we use. Um, but then, you know, it just didn't even occur to me that we drink coffee every morning and it's in a glass carafe and we drink it out of glass mugs, but, um, so it just sort of is so frustrating to realize all the places where um, things are lurking that even if you try really hard to think about all of them um, you can't you can't get at them all if, you know on your own so I think you know I don't want either of us to get sick and um, we'll you know eventually want to have kids and have a family and so that's another time when you start really thinking about all the things that you're bringing into your body and your home and um, like probably a lot of people, I want to, you know, be as healthy as I can be when I try to have kids and um, raise healthy kids. And so I, you know, want to try and I try to cut down on coffee. I won't drink alcohol. And so, you know, what are the other things that you have to do to have healthy kids? And it's starting to feel like you can't possibly, you know, even cover all the areas that you should be thinking about with the number of things that are in the products that we're using. Yeah, I think it's crazy. Um, you know, I some, sometimes think like everybody knows that we have the FDA that looks at, you know, food and drugs and so you just assume that if your doctor prescribes you some medicine or if you buy some food in the store that it's going to be safe for you and I just don't think we've really realized that there's this whole other, other layer of um, products that we're using with our food and in other ways that we put on our bodies and in our homes that um, no one's actually thought about whether they're safe or not. Um, well, first thing I hope that they'll continue to support the Kids Safe Product Act, which um, is taking us a step closer to being able to know about the most dangerous things in our um, that are being used right now, and um, you know, be even more aggressive with that and pushing forward ways to get rid of some of the most dangerous things that we're using right now. And um, I just feel like, as an average, you know, consumer who's not particularly knowledgeable or even interested in science, I don't want to have to try to figure this stuff out anymore. I just want, you know, my government to tell me what's safe and what's not. I think, I mean, ultimately I hope the whole country will follow what Maine has been doing. We've been sort of at the um, leading edge of it, I think, and that's great. We're a small state. It's a little easier for us to move stuff forward and we're sort of close, you know, used to living close to the land and um, sort of maybe be aware of this stuff quicker, but I think ultimately the whole country needs these kinds of protections. So I hope this is just the beginning.